Good evening, everybody. This is the Balloon Bandit with Amusement with a Twist Orlando. And today I'm going to teach you how to do a full body design. This is actually going to be part of the Diego, um, but I'm doing just the body part in order to show you how it's done. Okay, we're going to start with the body itself and then we'll add the legs and stuff. This body design is used in many of my creations because it is very simple and very fast to make. Uh, we start out with a hand length bubble, follow it up with a ear twist, uh, followed by what would be a lock twist, and then we're going to follow that up with the exact same thing. This is a real simple, easy design uh, to make. Okay, uh, with that being said, you can also make a pair of glasses if you want it. You can actually see through the um, clear balloon. Gives you like a bug eye effect. But that body design, all you do is you attach a balloon to the outer. That's a different thing for a different time. Uh, you can make masks and stuff with it, but that's just the, the basis of the body design. Okay, next um, we want to add legs to our design, so we have to decide what color the legs are going to be. Since it's Diego, we're using um, purple. You can use blue if you want quite tell um, and we're gonna make shorts out of it so we're gonna start out with uh, uh, like a one inch bubble followed by a, followed by a one inch bubble and these are gonna turn into ear twists one and two and you'll have what looks like a pair of lips hand link bubble, twist it, followed by a hand link bubble, followed by two one inch bubbles, or approximately one inch bubbles, so it's one, ear twist, one, one, ear twist, with that being said, Explorer, Hello Kitty, all the major um, ones that have like a body that you've seen, the Mickey, the Goofy, all of them use this body design per se, except for the colors change and little extra pieces here and there. Um, okay, now that you got your legs in place, uh, take all your novels and, and, and the pieces and move them to the center of your body so that they're in here. Okay, we're going to close it up by pushing it together. Take your, your two ear twists. Oh, i got to get it in the camera here. Take your two ear twists. Turn them side by side like they're like a pair of lips. Now, you lightly pull up on them and twist it. One, one time is sufficient. Okay. So now we have what looks like this. going to want to keep an eye on where this piece is here, this little nozzle here, because that, that's how I keep his legs together is I 
tie it together. But I don't do it until after I put the um, the feet on. So we're going to move to the feet. Um, this is just going to be two um, like three finger bubbles or so. You can make it as big as you want. Uh, just like uh, his pants, it's just the two uh, ear twists, which I make two in a row before I make my first. I do the second one first, then follow it up by the first one because it makes the first one tighter. You can do it any which way you feel like. Again, take your nozzles and remove them into the center of your design and where nobody can see them. Um, about a hand length bubble. Followed by a hand length bubble. Followed by two ear twists. Don't have 
to put it through the body or whatever to break it off. Um, you can actually break it off and then put it through the body, which I use like my feet to hold it or my knees. And then break it off and then tie it. Always tie anytime you break a balloon. I know people say wrap it, but it comes back to haunt you sometimes if you wrap it. These kids love to play. Okay, so now you have what looks like his legs again. Um, you can actually, you don't have to do this part. You can actually just make it a solid color all the way to the shoe. And you don't have to put the bubbles here if you do a solid color. Just one run straight down unless you want to be able to tie it. And then you can put in what looks like kneecaps and then continue the same color. Uh, that's all up to you how you want to do whoever you're making or whatever you're making. Okay, now we're going to take these two ear twists and we're going to stick this between it. So we're going to go down on the ground and, and by rolling them nice and gently, just roll it in there. Okay, you should have what looks like a T-bone effect. Okay, now we're going to spread the side of the body open and tuck it in. Spread the side of the body open. So that they're facing however you want them to face. You can face them up, face them down. I like it to where they see the bubble. I don't like it where they see the side of the side of the bubble. Or actually, it looks nicer like that. Unless you're gonna bend his arms. If you're gonna bend his arms, then yeah, that would be the way you would want it. Because then it would stick forward. But that's all up to you. Okay. Now with the Diego design, um, I make uh, the standard hand. And um, then give it a little extra bubble like I do in uh, SpongeBob to give it a little, what looks like an arm. So we're going to take a blush 260. We're going to need two of these. Uh, you can use it all one balloon or um, two balloons, whatever you want to do. But it's going to be about a uh, three finger bubble followed by. Ear twist, followed by a pinch twist, or uh, ear twist, sorry. Okay, so that was one bubble, followed by a pedal twist, followed by an ear twist. And then, depending on how long you want to get your hands, I make it about a three finger bubble, because you don't want his arms to overextend his body by too far. Again. of the body design for uh, any character or 
person that you want to create. It's a nice, simple body design. You don't have to do the broken arms. You can do the same color all the way up to the wrist, then put your hands on, or you can do full um, length uh, flush to not even give it any shirt effect. That's really up to you how you want to do it. But again, it looks really nice like this. Um, you can do it in boy color, girls colors, whatever you want. You can make it look like uh, people um, by adding a little head um, or whatever you want to do. Um, so the next part that we're going to add to this and finish this part off for this video is we're just going to add a we're going to add like a neck bubble. It doesn't really have to be too big or anything like that. It's just got to be enough to attach his head to it. And then we're going to wrap it again. Do the ear clips at the top. And I soften it is because it's just got to be there. It doesn't need to be um, like over observant, just like in the Mickey video. It's just enough to say it's there, but not enough to push your body out of whack. So, whatever color it is, whether it was the Mickey that you're trying to make, or if you want to make Dora, or whoever, wrap it in there nice and gentle like. Pressing down on it and squeezing out most of the air. I'm trying to keep them in the video so you guys can see them. Just placing it across the front of the body and pressing down on it. Once you get it down to about where the legs are, and then just twist it. We should have what looks like that. It's just enough to get a little bulge. And you spread it and tuck it. and tie it. Could be brown. I really forget. 
Is it brown? I think it actually is brown, so we're going to do the mocha brown. No. Let's do the black and call it safe. fingers or so. Always make sure that your nozzles and stuff end up on the inside of your design. Uh, always just looks better. Uh, take it the length of the thing, wrap it around once, or not all the way once, just enough to lock it down and back across the bubble. So you get to the other side, wrap it around the ear. of your bubble so that you went all the way around and now you're on the bottom which could be the top depending on how you want your head go around the ear one more time come to the bottom this is now the top side then you can it away. Now currently the design looks like four on one side and two on one side. So basically now you just want to reposition it so that it's three on one side and three on the other side. solid on one, three solid on the back. Um, the ears are the blush, but if it's Dora, I don't use the ears this way. I make the ears in the hair color, which is the black, so that it looks like she's got hair. Um, you can make a little head out of this by um, using the same color uh, hair but extend it out for a female or just leave it like that um, with the loodles loodle um, um, has another one of blush which is three on the front and then the hair on the back and then you just tuck an eyes or nose or whatever right in there okay so that's your um, Diego's head and again like in the other video I'm going to show you all you do is you spread it open and you tuck it in. Just push it in there nice enough. It'll stay in place. It won't pop off. You can see I'm pulling pretty good and it's just pulling on the neck. That's what you want. And there's my full body uh, balloon, which is actually Diego, except for I'm missing the backpack. Okay, that's how you make a full body uh, balloon for whatever you want to make. Hello Kitty design is just a heart on the top, um, Mickey, full body head, whatever you want to make, uh, Goofy, all of them. The body design is simple, basic, real easy to make. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed it.